welcome to tech guru technology my name is imran khan in this video i am going we are going to learn about pivot table so uh, how can we use pivot table and why we are using pivot table and then uh, i'll also explain how can we insert a column in pivot table which is not part of our data and then i'll explain pivot chart and then you learn about dashboard dashboard is a very i'll give a simple example of dashboard only and in my next session uh, you'll get the detail of the dashboard so then now i'm going to select my excel here let me show you our data right so here we have a data of a sales team uh, and then uh, you can see that at the first column we have date, age and name in the second column and then sales location, manager, total sales, ID and gender. Now the question is that why we need oh, pivot. So if we are sending data like this then a leader, a business leader cannot understand the performance of a team the performance of manager the performance of us of an agent right so for that no for that we are using pivot table so uh, uh, in an interview a uh, interviewer can also ask about that why we use pivot table so you can simply say that you know we use pivot table to get summary of our data now i'm just demonstrate example of pivot table here so click at insert and go to the pivot table okay so you see you'll see that there are two you know, uh, range table range one is internal and second one is external in my next session you'll learn how to use external source like access to, you know, to get a pivot table to to create a pivot table now what you need to do go to the data select our data and just selecting my data from a to g and then clicking at ok okay now now we are getting uh no uh, in the left hand side what we are getting we are getting the column list here at top and then no drag fill between areas so keep remember interview can ask how many types of drag fill areas so, so you can say for filter columns rows and values okay so so then if we need to you know, create agent wise report so i believe agent should be either at row level or at column level so i'm just putting it at row level so what we need we need total sales okay by employees so that's why i am putting total sales in the value column right mm, try i'm just trying again okay it's showing now see so uh, you know you can drag and drop any column but it depend on our situation here we need some that's why we need to enter only numeric numeric column right not not any non numeric or string column and you know okay, click uh, let me try again and show you you can also change okay uh, just click at the value field and you can change uh, the some from sum to count if you want to count of a column then you can change it like this and you can you have multiple option here so do whatever you want to do as per your report right so here i need only some that's why i'm selecting some no and then at the filter level what you need at the filter level i need manager right I'm just taking it, just dropping it now. What's going on? It's not supposed to do this. Okay. Okay. 
okay why it's showing error because you no know, data was already there at at the no top top one rows so let me shift our pivot table from here to a, a bit you no know, lower so that so that you no know, uh, excel can perform its operation it can, excel can insert you no know, data from on the top right so uh, let me try again the manager if you need date at the top so you can you can also insert date here okay so i'm just putting two value and then i'll show what does it mean the manager means if i'm selecting the manager kamal so it will show the record related to kamal so so our leader no can can just select either kamal or no roshan and just check their team performance right so no one more thing i would like to explain here that you no know, if you see the column name here the column name is not looking good like sum of total sales the column name is not looking relevant so how can we make it relevant okay so let me do that i'm giving you an example here so there click right and just clicking right okay with right click you will get option like value field settings go to the value will fill setting you can change name here you can change name you can change any name you know it's depend on you but if i if i put only total sales the column name whatever we have in our database it will show you an error okay that means we need to give some other name so we, i need to add something else so and I, I, i just need to add done here right total sales done so you can need you, you can know give a relevant name whatever you want to give you can give it's up to you right now no if you see our data here so in our data we don't have incentive kind of you no know, fill so what we need to do i need to calculate incentive here and then you no know, as per as per our company policy if if we are giving 10% incentive to our employee to our sales agent then what i need to do for that for that go to the pivot table and see option here at the top fill item sets click at fill item set we'll get calculated fill option here okay now i'm just putting some i'm just giving some name like incentive okay and how can we calculate incentive we need to put a formula here so incentive would be 10% of total sales then i am select i had just selected total sales into 10% okay okay so you can see the column here incentive right so either put column here you can see column here so you can use that column mm. so where we need to put that column oops excel is not supposed to know putting in that column so excel is throwing an error why is throwing an error because if you want to put a, you know if you want to put a column then then you need to select you need not to select pivot from here you need to select pivot from here right and then insert column then it will automatically insert let me show you incentive 
I'm just giving new name, right? And then total sales into 10%. Then okay. Then you can see the column has been inserted automatically. So why I you know I'm just showing it why because you need to select you no know, exact call exact you no know, location you need to you need to highlight exact location before before inserting any columns so that means if you want to insert any column you need to click at the at here right not at the filter level you need to click click at the column level right so now now i'm just giving a good name to the column it's not looking good right good the value setting delete the name incentive okay total incentive let me try oh it's working right okay now I'm just giving a giving you an example of pivot chart. Select our pivot here, and then go to the insert. And recommended chart. Click at recommended chart. What kind of chart you need? See if you like this one. Okay, you can select it. If you like this one, you can select it. You know what kind of chart we should use I'll, I'll I'll explain it in in next session in future I'll, I'll upload a video and explain where we need to you know use which kind of chart like when, when we use Pareto chart when we use you know column chart when we use pie chart right so I'll explain later you know, currently what I'm going to explain you pivot chart only so if I am selecting Kamal then 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 see pivot chart is also you no know, changing automatically so you are you are getting information of agent of of a team particular team of Kamal right so there are three agent of a Kamal team and the performance is showing here and if you want any other report like manager report the simply copy and paste same pivot okay i'm just copying and pasting same pivot select it uh, put agent here and then manager here so you can see the manager wise report is also here change a giving a good name to my report okay so uh, one more thing I would like to explain how can you you make your report you no know, good good looking right how can you make your report good looking so you can you, you know you can also change the look and feel of your report for that go to the design here a list of design for our, for your pivot so select for example i'm selecting this one so i think the look and feel is slightly better than the previous one right okay so you can choose any one whatever you want thanks for watching my video no and please subscribe my video thank you so much bye